like and subscribe to 13 Mitigator Ford Fusion. I like well, thank you for listening to Let's Talk Racing.tv. Let's Talk Racing. I'm Teddy Peter, driver of the number 17 Toyota NASCAR Camp World Truck Series, and you're listening to Let's Talk Racing. <laughs>
No, uh, you know, I've been at the shop a lot, um, helping out those guys, learning with those guys. You know, I get to the racetrack a little bit with, with Spencer and um, see if I can help him out with any of my knowledge. And, um, but really, we've tested, we tested the Charlotte and they had the open test a couple weeks ago and the uh, 23 Chevy was really fast. And, and I'm just looking forward to, uh, to getting started. Cause, I mean, it's been pretty boring, honestly. I mean, I had a, as a racer, all I want to be doing is racing, and uh, I haven't had the opportunity to do much racing yet. Give us a little bit of background where you came from. Uh, I know we worked together in the K&N series uh, a couple of years back. And you were doing very well down there, and then you went ahead and made uh, the jump up to the truck series. Uh, always remember, uh, I believe y'all are affiliated with the Gresham Park down there in Georgia. Yeah, my grandfather owns that. Um, awesome track. Uh, I came up through the leather cars and main layers, right? I started when I was eight, and uh, I worked my way up to a leather car, and then from there I moved to a uh, pro weight model. And uh, I ran a couple of years in that. When I was 16, I moved to uh, the K&N car for Joe Gibbs Racing. And then in 2011, I was able to win the, the K&N championship for Joe Gibbs Racing. And then uh, starting in 2012, I've been racing the trucks ever since. And um, last year was my first full year in the truck series with Eddie Sharp Racing. And um, I'm hoping that this year will can lead to some good stuff. And hopefully we'll be back full time in 2015. Well, tell us about the, the division there between Ed and Sharp Racing and Gallagher Motorsports. What what all took place as far as, I mean, are they completely out of it, or, or and it's just the Gallagher's now running it, or what, what's going on there? Well, the people that I was with last year, um, there's a different group than the guys I'm with this year. Um, last year it was Sharp Gallagher Racing, mm -hmm. now I'm with Gallagher Motorsports. And uh, completely different family, had no involvement with each other. Um, but as far as I understand from Eddie's situation, I, I'm pretty sure he's pretty much all about it, but I, I really don't know, to uh, to be honest. So I know Will Gallagher is still running super late models, and I think he's running for uh, Richie Waters. But um, as far as what went on over there, I'm not really sure between, behind, every, behind all the scenes and all that. So. What shop are you all working out of nowadays? Are you all over there in Mooresville, or are you all uh, working out in Denver? No, wrong team. You're thinking wrong team. I'm with a completely different team. I had no involvement with the team that was in Denver. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Actually, our shop is actually in Huntersville. Typically Charlotte because we're yeah. further on the Huntersville side than, um, than, than really. But, um, yeah, it's a completely different team, completely new team to me. No involvement with anybody from, from uh, Eddie Sharp Creek. I got gotcha. you. It's it's so funny. You know, I lived and have a house in Charlotte, and of course worked out of Cornelius. And it's just amazing how many shops you have in that area. Uh, you got a group, a uh, little group over there in Harrisburg. You got a little bit in Kannapolis. You got now Huntersville starting to be uh, a big area for shops to start coming into. A little bit over in Denver, and of course you know you got a lot over there in Mooresville with the sports park and over there off of 150. So. Uh, when people come down, they got a lot of uh, places to be able to go see and, uh, you know, be able to see these cars. And there's plenty of opportunities everywhere around, and uh, if anyone wants to come back down to the GMS Racing and, and come look at the shop, there's someone always there to give you a tour, and it's probably going to be one of the three drivers that are down there. So, now we always welcome people to come by and check it out and just come look at it. Uh, now, you've got a guy working at that shop that I know pretty well. Uh, is he doing any work? I'm talking about Dave Talman. Yeah, he's uh, he's actually my, uh, well, I won't say truck chief, chief, but he's uh, he's on my crew on the 23 team, but he works on my stuff. And uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gallagher stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave's a good guy, man. Okay. He's, <laughs> look, he's a local boy from down here in Hampton, Virginia. Yeah, I did some racing out at Langley Speedway, and of course he made the move down there to uh, Charlotte, probably right around the time I did, probably about seven years ago. Yep. So, uh, yeah, he's he's a great guy, man, a good guy to have on your team, and a lot of knowledge right there, too. I, I can't agree more. He's a really smart guy, and, um, you know, between everyone on my team, between uh, Pickle, my crew chief, and then Coleman and Barry, everyone, there's a... Uh, uh, a lot of very smart people involved, just the 23 team and the 21 team. Are we talking about the same guy? He's so smart, and they call Tomlin in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you'd give him a hard time. Dave's a good guy. But, but, uh, when you see Dave when you see Dave at the shop next time, tell him Jack Dodson said he needs to do some work. Okay. <laughs> Does he now spell work? 
<laughs> I ain't gonna say I. <laughs> no, he, I've been around him a lot, so. <laughs> no, but he's a good guy, man. We're glad to see you got everything together for a 2014 season and uh, taking on a couple of races this year. And I imagine, um, you know, funding held you back for the 2014. Yeah, funding is the, the big issue for me for this year. But, um, we're just, uh, you know, we haven't been as fortunate this year to have all our sponsors be able to, to support us as much as they have in years past. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that the new uh, alliance between myself and then GMS Racing is going to allow for, you know, more potential new sponsors and, and uh, you know, new partners. Like they have, uh, they had just secured Vertex for Joey Coulter on the 21 truck for this weekend. So, you know, it's good to be in a place where the sponsors are interested and uh, they're very, they're trying to come in uh, the way that Vertex has. Uh, so you still have the Allegiant Air on the, on one of the cars, right? Yep, that's uh, the Allegiant Air is flown on uh, Spencer Gallagher's uh, or Anna's truck. Uh, Spencer's truck is flown on that one. Um, and then uh, the Allegiant Air is flown on Spencer's truck. Oh, okay. I got you. Well, uh, definitely uh, you want to go ahead and give your sponsors a shout out uh, and your team and everything. and. Uh, before we, you know, go ahead and leave you after that, we want to definitely wish you good luck this week, uh, next weekend, next. Charlotte. And uh, like you said, you had a good finish there last year, and hope you have a better finish there uh, again this year, 2014. Yeah, thank you. I'm here to thank uh, Anne Lewis Group LLC and uh, Made in USA for understanding the two strongest ones for me for the past two years. So I can't do it without them. I got you. All right. Well, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you, buddy. All right, All man. Right, talk to you later. Have a good night. Give Tom a hard time for me. Will do. All right. <laughs> you ain't having fun unless you're giving somebody a hard time. Yeah, you know, know that, don't well, you? Well, look, Dave Talbot, him and Lee and all of them came together. With they Lee all Howard. They all went to Charlotte at the same time. They've all been together the whole time they've been down there. And I just, I, you know, I give him a hard time every time I'm around him. You know, but he's a, but he but like Brian said, he is a sharp guy. He's, you know, very good guy. And you know, it's really weird how some of the people get down to Charlotte. You know, Woody Howard um, was with uh, Jim Dean. Yeah, I believe is mm -hmm. was at the time they went down there had a shop and uh, took a lot of people with him. And a lot of people have stayed down there. Uh, you know, uh, Sean and all them. Who he's over yep. at Gibbs, um, the Nationwide team, and then you know, of course, Dave. Uh, a lot of knowledge went down there, a lot of knowledge was stayed, and I'm glad to see them guys were able to uh, to follow their dreams and be able to stay down there and be able to get on with some good teams. So that's it was really nice. Um, you know, and, and people don't realize how important funding is. Yep. Funding is everything. You can have all the talent in the world. And I read an article one time uh, years and years ago that you can have 101 Jeff Gordons, but it just takes that one that someone's going to fund. And that, that, that guy can maybe, you know, go all the way. We, we've seen a lot of talent come in, race four or five races and do really good, and then the teams had to shut down because, yeah, you know. It's like Danny O'Quinn yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. Rookie of the year driving Jack Rouse's cars. Yeah. And then the Big next man. year, next year, he don't have my ride. Right. I mean, and he hasn't been back since. And he's yeah. been back at home. I think he's a Virginia boy. Yeah, he's been remember. down near Lonesome Pine. So it's people don't realize, I mean, how much money goes into these operations and trying to keep the team together, getting the car there, keeping the car up, and everything else. And then all of a sudden, you know, once that money's gone, you know, it's, it's a tough situation. People start coming back home, and other people start jumping from team to team. But uh, you got so many guys out there with really good talent. And I see that when I get to work the K&N series. And a lot of talent, just like Max, he came up through the K&N East. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's doing what he can. He had did, uh, some good runs last year, and hopefully they'll put something together. And maybe we'll see more of them in 2014. Yeah, Tim, Do you see the, the new person. thing with um, the K&N yeah, that came out yesterday about the Tory race? Yeah, I read about that with Lee Pullman. Yeah. Yeah, and you take Lee, who is uh, uh, an all-around racer. Uh, the guy, you put him in anything, and it just seems like he's another Kyle Larson. Matter of fact, when we were at Richmond two weeks ago, we were talking about Kyle Larson, how you could put him in anything, and it just seems like the kid just does really great. Well, Lee, what is he now, two-time? 
national. Yep, two time yeah. back to back national champion. Exactly, and then he gets a chance to go on and uh, compete in the K&N uh, E Series, and I mean he was doing really good. I think you know they had a, maybe some funding problem, and uh, but I did hear uh, that he's picked up another ride. And he's going to be doing the Pro Cup series. The, it's uh, Pro Cup. Yeah, the Pro okay. Cup series. He's going to be running Rusty Skew's okay. car in the Pro Cup series. And he won. The only time he's ever run a Pro Cup race, he won it in Rusty Skew's car. Really? So he's going to be going back to Rusty Skew's car this, this uh, I think it's this coming weekend. I'm glad to see it for him. Uh, hopefully, we'll see him back in Canada and East here real soon. Welcome to Let's Talk Racing, Tim Vines. How's it going? How you doing? This is Jack Dyson. Got Brian Morehouse and, and Roger Brim here. How's everything down your way in in Florida? It is uh, beautiful weather, and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I bet you are. We'll ask him that question in July and August when they get all them storms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, how's your 2014 season been going so far? You know, we've had some issues, but. Um, after uh, four races, I'm tenth in points, so you know I can't complain. We can only improve, and you know, and uh, see where the season takes us. So, who are you driving for this year? I'm driving for uh, Car Two Motorsports currently. I have uh, I'm going to race uh, Toledo, Ohio, with them in, uh, next weekend, and then uh, we're potentially I'm potentially going to make a change to a different team. Um, uh, it's all about uh, horsepower and you know having better equipment, and I, that's going to be uh, a decision that we make in the very near future. Have you got any NASCAR? I mean, plans for now? I saw on your Facebook when I was talking to you one time before today that um, you you got cleared to drive a drive a truck. Yeah, I actually spoke with Brett Bodine over at NASCAR today. Um, they took a look at the resume and uh, approved me for uh, Britain. Uh, Excuse me, Bristol, Martinsville, and uh, El Doro, plus the, uh, the road courses. So I think what we're going to do after speaking with some of the sponsors is uh, we're probably definitely going to hit Bristol. I think that's in July or August. And then uh, the second Martinsville race in the truck as well. And then um, more than likely uh, at least Homestead in the Nationwide Series at the very end of the season. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Whose truck are you going to be racing? Or, did, or, or can you say that now? I can't let I can't say it now. Um, we're talking to a couple different teams. Um, we won't tell anybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. <laughs> so you are preparing for at least two uh, truck races, Bristol and Martinsville. Yeah, as of right now, it looks you know pretty solid. I would say that we're going to be you know, that I'll be driving Bristol and Martinsville. Have you had any experience on either track in any of the other series that you participated in? Uh, you know, not those tracks. Um, I have some experience in the ARCA trucks, and then I did a full season in the pro trucks. So I have some experience in the trucks. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Well, I tell you what, everybody we've ever talked to about Bristol has been like, that is the, the track to go to. Um, the banking, just the atmosphere and everything else and when you put those trucks on there, of course the attitudes start to get a little etchy and everything else, but uh, you know, it, it seems like a really fun track and uh, great to be at. Yeah, I've never had the opportunity to drive there. I've been there several times before and uh, you're, you're exactly right. The atmosphere and the banking and the speed and you know, the bumping and grinding, it, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the exciting ones. So I'm looking forward to being a part of it for sure. And then we go down there with mods and we race, uh, I believe it's the Wednesday night with the trucks. And uh, some of the southern mod guys and northern mod guys will get out of the car once if it's been their first time and they're just like, wow. That's all they'll say is wow. And you're just like, can you tell me some more? And they're, they're like, well, just let me get my breath. But that was an experience. So it's uh, definitely cool to be able to see you get your a shot to be able to race that track. And we definitely wish you well there. I appreciate it. I'm definitely looking forward to it for sure. Well, Tim, give us a little bit of your background, how you got started in racing and, and how you got to the point where you are now. I'm going to be honest with you, you know, I'm not one of these guys that grew, you know, was a kid that started in go-karts and, you know, came up their whole life. Um, I'm 37 years old. I've owned a marketing company called RaceDaySponsor.com for about six years now. That was my initial break into the sport. You know, we, we I came in and 
I had uh, knew a guy who was from Vermont. I knew Kevin LePage, who was from Vermont and raced in NASCAR. And I, uh, through dealing with him, I had the opportunity to go out to the Speedway, you know, at Daytona when I lived in Florida and hang out with him and kind of help out a little bit here and there. Um, so that's how I got into the whole sport. Um, you know, Kevin asked me one day, he said, hey, he goes, uh, we're looking for sponsors, you know, even for a single race or this or that. You know, I'm thinking NASCAR is millions and millions and millions of dollars. I'm like, I don't know anybody with that kind of money. So, right. <laughs> you know, I dwelling on it two weeks later, I called him back up and I said, you know, how much does it cost for a single race? And he's like, you know, I can do it for as little as 25000 We break even, blah, blah, blah. So I uh, stood on that for a couple weeks later. I hit him back with a uh, concept that uh, became racedaysponsor.com where we break up the car into micro sponsors, make it more affordable for small business people, everyday people that are at the track, to be able to get those pit passes, get their you know landscaping or plumbing or contracting company on the car. And uh, we started promoting it, and uh, one thing led to another, and it's just been a very successful program. Uh, we sponsor the 40 car in the uh, Nationwide Series and also uh, the 36 and 7 car in the Sprint Cup Series. Pretty much every one of their sponsors and those guys being on the track every week is a benefit of race day sponsor. So that's how I kind of came around the sport and the whole bit. Uh, about four years ago, uh, one of the team owners was like, hey, we're uh, Andy Hillenberg actually, Fast Track Racing School. Mm-hmm. He invited me to come up there to Rockingham Speedway for two days. Um, I went up there four years ago. And uh, I got in the car, and I fell in love. I was addicted instantly, and I've been racing every single weekend since, from pro trucks to late models to you know now ARCA, and then now moving forward into NASCAR. So that's my story. I mean, uh, you know, we're almost we're coming up on the fourth year, and uh, I'm living out my dream. I tell you what, it's a different type of story than, than what we've heard before because we always hear of uh, the kids being in go karts, seven, eight, nine years old, going to legends, then bandolero or bandoleros, then legends, and everything else. So your story really is interesting. It shows people, you know, no matter what age, because we think of race car drivers now being 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. I mean, even at 37, you're getting into a car and really having a lot of fun with it. Absolutely, absolutely. It, you know, I've been very blessed, and uh, I thank the Lord for that. And, uh, you know, I couldn't imagine doing anything else now. I, I absolutely enjoy every weekend, week out. You know, I'm thankful to be able to do it. Well, that's great. Now, uh, how's your season been going so far uh, within ARCA? <clears throat> We're doing good. We had some issues at uh, on the small tracks at Salem and uh, Mobile. We had uh, some gear issues and some motor issues. <laughs> Uh, but we were able to, you know, turn some laps and keep in the points. Um, Daytona was the first big one for, for me, especially at the Speedway. I tested in December, um, so I was excited to go there. Being from Daytona, you know, I had a huge following here. You know, a lot of people came out to the track. I, I, mean, I don't even know how many hundreds probably. But um, so to be able to race right in my hometown and do that, I mean, it was just so exciting. Um, but every time I put a lap down at Daytona, you know, you gain that confidence level and, you know, okay, I'm going 180, 185 miles an hour and the car actually does turn like one to the corner. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> so going into Talladega, you know, I had that confidence built up. Um, you know, unfortunately, they, with the new, uh, with the new uh, qualifying procedures, I didn't make, I, it didn't benefit me. Um, so we ended up starting, I think, 32nd, 33rd. Um, I wasn't able to catch that initial draft at the very beginning, so we're, you know, we're drafting with one or two cars, and then unfortunately it went green for 40 laps or whatever, 50 laps or whatever it was, so that cost us and we went a lap down. But um, when we uh, when we finally did get the caution and uh, we were able to run the draft, you know, it was fun. They had to run two, three wide, bumper to bumper. It, it was just awesome. So I'm looking forward to you know the next speedway for sure. I know I talked about Bristol and all the excitement with that, but give us your, I mean, you gave us a really good feedback on Daytona. There's nothing like Daytona, is there? No, there's nothing like it at all. I mean, it, it's the Super Bowl. I mean, it's the NBA Finals. It's, 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 it's crazy that the, the biggest race of the year is the first race of the year. And, uh, yeah. But it's, it's exciting for the fans because, you know, you get that momentum and, you know, you go to the next track and the next track and the next track. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, just being in front of you know my hometown and everybody, it, it was just awesome. You know, uh, we, we when we went out and actually celebrated after the fact, and 
you know, people just came up to me and they were like, Tim, you know, we're so proud of you. You know, that's awesome. And, you know, it, it was cool. It was real cool. Now, what's some of the other tracks that uh, your ARCA series has uh, been to this year? I mean, y'all you know, have had a pretty busy schedule so far for 2014. Yeah, there were slated for 20 races. Uh, it was uh, Daytona, Mobile, uh, uh, Salem, and then Talladega. And then uh, the next weekend is uh, Toledo, Ohio. I believe that's live on Fox Sports yep. 1 as well. Yep. Um, we go to some of the big tracks. You know, we go to Poconos twice. We go to Chicago. We go to Kansas. We go to Kentucky. Uh, we have a couple of road courses. Uh, I think there's even a, a, a clay race this year as well at uh, uh, El Doro. Um, so it's, it, you know, a lot of the weekends are with you know the NASCAR guys. It's right. Nationwide, so I think it's great for the sport. It's a great experience too that you're able to see some of the tracks that, uh, like you said, Chicago and you know Talladega, Daytona, some of the tracks that you know you know that you'll be racing on if you keep progressing on up, whether it's with the Truck Series nationwide or even Cup. So that's it's really good experience all the way around. Absolutely, absolutely, and you know, so I think we are, we're gonna we're gonna run 20 races this year in ARCA, and then. Uh, that's definitely going to help me as I move forward. And then, you know, if we, we have the uh, truck races in and hopefully a couple of nationwide races as well. Uh, during the off weeks, I mean, even this weekend, you know, my home track is New Smyrna. It's a half mile. It's a pretty quick track. Um, so we're, we're, we're testing uh, Saturday here. So it's pretty much every single weekend, you know, but from the seat, that's, that's the only way to get done. Well, every week on this show, somewhere along the line during the, during the show, we talk about food. Okay. <laughs> now I understand, and and I and, and I'm not. Uh, you know how I figured it out, but I understand you're at the Stonewood Grill and Tavern in Port Orange. I, I actually just ordered a filet. <laughs> for me, <laughs> I forgot I had to do an interview, and then I looked down and I had a red bar on my phone. Set. All right, well, t tell me about the Stonewood Grill. What kind of good food they got there? <laughs> it's a uh, grill and tavern. Uh, it's a uh, it's basically a steakhouse, um, and it, it's one of the best in uh, Daytona. So when you're down this way, definitely hit up Stonewood. <laughs> no, okay. Well, see, we we always covered. Usually, the guy named Matt, you, you probably heard of Al Pierce, but he usually comes on here and he usually talks about food. So I just didn't want to let it down. <laughs> well, I hope they hear this interview and give me a free meal now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you have to take it around and show it to them so they'll know. But see, I, I, I keep up on things like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you definitely, uh, we want you to go ahead and, uh, you know, give a shout out to all your sponsors and everybody uh, that has been helping you out in 2014 and your crew and anything else you want to tell us about. Yeah, I really appreciate that. You know, the sponsors are the, you know, the most important part. They're the ones that uh, keep me out there and uh, keep it, you know, keep us out there every single week. So. RaceDaySponsor.com, a good chance to check that out if you ever want to experience uh, behind the scenes at a NASCAR race. Uh, check it out with our micro sponsor program. Uh, Mona V just launched their new line. It's called Mint, M-Y-N-T. You can text Mint Car, M-Y-N-T Car, to 91011 for more information. It's an entire uh, sports energy shake slash energy drink slash diet, healthy lifestyle program. And it's backed by uh, Mona V. I'm sure most of you have heard of that. Yeah. But, um, and uh, to my Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, and speaking safe and healthy and putting me out there every single week. I appreciate it. All right, well, we're going to let you go so you can go eat. And um, now that I done heard what you're having, I'm getting kind of hungry myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, we appreciate your time, man. Well, then, uh, we'll get back with you again real soon. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Thank you, man. Talk to you later. Bye. You want to say something about Scott? Go ahead. Yeah, do it. I didn't want to say something about Scott. Well, see, that little message up there a minute ago, I know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I sure wish old Scott was here, as a matter of fact. I want to know about his. Well, love. you know what's nice? So we can always snag him next week. Um, you know, talk about him now. Well, we can talk about him now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still. Last proud. week I was his friend. This week I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little concerned about this love affair he's got with Scott Perlman. You know, because uh, is that like a love hate relationship thing? Uh, or is that evidently, they, evidently they really love each other because they wanted to meet each other in the middle of the track. But well, we still got something here that uh, you know was love for Scott. 
And uh, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting into that one. <laughs> so I, I don't think Mr. Perlman actually really did that. <laughs> you to, you to no, but I do wish Scott was here. What? No. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm next, sorry. Yes. Now, was that arena race since last race? Yes, that's uh, last okay. race. Uh, race. Redford fast catches it. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk Racing. Good evening. How are you doing? All right, how are doing? How about you guys? We're doing pretty good. How's everything down your way? Well, just got into uh, old Kansas City, about to hit the hotel, and then go find ourselves a quality barbecue, so I'm looking forward to it. Wait a minute, now I'm going to ask you a question before we get started real good on this. Is Dave Talman with you? What's that? Is Dave Talman with you? Dave who? Dave Talman. No. Uh, Talman, you mean? Yeah, Talman, Talman, whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's with you right now? No, he's not in the car, but he's, uh, he's in the other van. Oh, okay, I... Well, make sure you don't even let him ride with him. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't let him ride with me either. But anyway, you tell him when you see him that uh, I said he needs to do something besides eat all the time he's on the road. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. Dave's a hometown boy from down here. We all know him pretty well, so we try to give him a hard time anytime we hear of him or see him. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have plenty of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I, I get a lot of them. So tell us how your 2014 season is going so far. It's actually been going uh, pretty damn well. I, I can't complain a lick. We had a uh, great finish in Salem. We had a really good finish in Mobile after uh, running in the top three all day. And hell, we just came off our best fleet finish ever. This is Talladega, about that third line, though. What yeah. th did you think of that Talladega track? I, it's, it's always amazing the race there. It's, um, it's pretty interesting with the Arca car beat. You need a big group to get a run going to challenge any given lane, but once you can do it, by God, you move. Yeah, I guess, I guess that is that, that is kind of a that's kind of a big deal when you come from a place like Mobile or wherever you were at before that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, how's y'all's 2014 season been going all the way up to this point? I mean, it sounds like y'all been doing pretty good. Yeah, no, we've been we've been doing well. We've been rattling off the top five finishes. Uh, since uh, we had a little mishap at Daytona, but since then we've come back strong, and then we've uh, think, turned well. We've been two top five finishes in the last two races, so I'll take it. So where does that put you all in points uh, right now for 2014? I think right this second we're sitting like uh, fifth or so. I think about 100 points back. I don't know. I try not to look at those things too closely. Leave that to the crew chiefs. Take race by race, right, man? Uh-huh. I hear you. Fast. <laughs> So what is the the rest of 2014? What kind of schedule are you going to have as far as what what kind of racing are you going to be doing? Are you going to be still doing trucks and, and ARCA or whatever? A full season of ARCA and I think um, in addition to Kansas, six more truck races. Now who are you racing with for uh, the truck series? Uh, it'll be with uh, GMS Racing, our team will be alongside uh, Mr. Joey Coulter. Cool. And uh, all his experience behind me, hopefully I'll be able to uh, hit my own ass with both hands every once in a while. So is he in the truck with you too? Uh, yeah, actually we just pulled up to the airport or the uh, hotel rider. Oh, okay. I figured he's the next guest on here, so I figured, you know, he, he'd be right there with you. Yeah. So right. what? Uh, he'll, he'll be right here. Yeah, I'll pass the phone off to him after you guys are done with me. So where, where are you going to eat tonight? We always do a food segment, so I want to know where you're going to eat tonight. Actually, it's funny, on the, uh, on the flight over, I was reading an article, I managed to find a place named Joe's Barbecue out here. It is the third highest rated place on Yelp in the entire United States. Wow. Ten minutes away. So, yeah, I know where I'm going tonight. Oh, okay. Now, FedEx is in the area, right? You can freeze this and FedEx it to us, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll uh, package some up in the FedEx box and ship it out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it might get there a little cold, but that's what they have been in microwaves for, you know? Yeah, well, you know, we can, we can deal with that. So, uh, what all what, what are you got for your, your, you still got the Allegiant for your sponsor and everything, and everything seems to be going well? Yes, sir. No, we uh, we got Allegiant Travel as our primary sponsor this year. I'm going to be running the Allegiant Travel Chevrolet up in uh, up in Kansas this year. And actually, Mr. Coulter, uh, we, he will be running the uh, Vertex Chevrolet. It's, it's very interesting. We actually just signed on with Vertex. They're a maker of uh, work and tactical clothing, and they make absolutely awesome stuff. So I'm really looking forward to working with them this year. 
Where are you? What are you? Where are you looking to go after? You know, you got you're going to be doing the Arca and the trucks this year. Let's say down the road somewhere. What are your plans for down the road? What do you see yourself doing in a few years? Hey, it's got series of bust for me, so it's, I'm going to be working my way up through the ranks, but this year we're focusing on doing full season in the market. Next year our plan is to go full-time truck racing and, and figure out the future from there, but the end goal for me has always been the same, cup or bust. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, it's so interesting. We always ask everybody how they got started in racing, and tonight we've uh, pretty much had some interesting stories. Um, of course, you Normally, uh, a lot of guys are getting started in carts and moving their way on up and have always been around racing. And then we talked to a gentleman who uh, basically got the, the knack of it and, hey, he got some money together. He decided he wanted to start racing. What's your background uh, and what got you to this point within uh, ARCA and trucks? You know, it's funny. I, I like to tell people I've got one of the weirder backstories you're ever going to hear. I was 19 when I turned my first lap in an oval of any kind. Wow. And before that, I was living in San Francisco, working in the technology industry, loving life. But I had this really great guy who was on the license series back in Vegas, running that every once in a while. Had a really great guy, me and TJ Clark, mentoring me and, and helping out with our cars. And one day I started picking up some wins every once in a while out of nowhere. And he sat me down and said, you know, hey kid, you ever thought about doing this seriously? And, and, and much like your previous guest did, you know, we, we had the resources to do it. I've always been very blessed in that regard. So we said, what the hell, let's, let's do this. But the rest has kind of been history. So how long have you been involved now uh, with racing? I mean, you started you, when you said right around 19, and uh, how are you now? I believe this is my fifth year race. I'm 24 now. Cool. Well, it sounds like, man, you get your goals, and you're ready for it. And like you said, Cup is the uh, where you want to be. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a hell of a way to make a living, as I always tell people. I'm, I'm enjoying every day of it. But... Now, some people go to work every day. Some people get to go do what they love to do every day. It sounds like you're getting to be able to do what you love to do. Yeah, absolutely. I do what I, I love every single day, whether it's being in the shop, working on the cars, reviewing the tape for the next race up to come, or heading out to the track and getting it done on the track. The reason I say that is uh, when, when I went to uh, NASCAR, I had somebody interview me, and they ended up uh, telling me, they said, listen, I don't consider this a job. I consider this what I love to do every day, so I've really never had a job. I just looked at it, and I was like, I want a job. <laughs> so, but, uh, As a wise man said, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Exactly. So, but uh, looking forward to Kansas, and, um, you know, you, last time I was out in Kansas, it was the beautifulest day I've seen in, at any racetrack, and then all of a sudden a hailstorm came up, and all heck broke loose within a matter of 10 minutes. You know, they were telling us hit the garages, and we didn't know what was going on. And golf size hail started coming down, and a storm can come up on you in a matter of minutes, and then it clears up, and you're back to racing. Oh, you see, it's funny that you mention that because I've actually already got a game plan in place for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm up on top of the hotel and doing my anti tornado dance, and so far it's proven very effective. I mean, I'm like zero for however many races I've got for tornadoes touching down. So I, I really like our outlook tomorrow. So it's be good. There you well, go. you need to hang out with them guys from NASCAR because I'm gonna tell you, everywhere they go, it seems to be rain. It's, see, I, I always uh, tell Chad Little, director of the truck series, I need to come around you guys more often. I bring the good weather. <laughs> there you go. So, them, cup guys, them cup guys are getting it. Last week was the first time the cup guys hadn't seen rain in the whole year. You know what, though? I, I've been telling everybody that will listen. I, I, I believe in strange coincidences, let's call it. And every time the cup series has gotten rained out at some point during this year, they have put on an amazing show, be it uh, Bristol or Daytona or Phoenix or any of the other races. They put on such a great show after having been washed out. They definitely have. Seems like the jet dryers have gotten quite a bit of uh, a workout around the track these days. But you're right. Uh, every rain delay or you know postponement till the next day has definitely turned out to be one heck of a race and one to remember. I've also started maintaining a small theory that NASCAR could actually be conspiring to ruin the weather at every one of their events, <laughs> just so they have the opportunity to show off what the air titan can do again and again. I think it's pretty sneaky of them, but i got to applaud them for it. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are amazing. I was telling these guys in the studio, those things are amazing to watch and see them they in are. action. 
Uh, we, we had them down at Richmond when we were there with the Canon and East, and they just they can go out there, and them guys just know how to get the thing done. You can't control the weather. Um, none of us can do that. As we saw at Richmond, they had the track all dry, ready to go, and all of a sudden another rainstorm came in, but they went right back out there, and those, those uh, Air Titans are really one heck of a piece of equipment. I, they're impressive pieces of machinery to be certain. It, it's pretty cool to watch them do their thing. Yeah, definitely. Well, you want to uh, go ahead and give us a plug to all your sponsors, your team, and even uh, Dave. Tell us some good things about Dave since he's a hometown boy. Uh, and uh, and that, that should be a short story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the great thing is I can tell you about Dave Tallman is still the Library of Congress. So hey, let's <laughs> don't be afraid to drop a few right now because you still got plenty of time. Hey, 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 hey uh, Spencer, I know, him, I know him really, really well. So I can tell you some stories too that you could use against him later on. Okay, so you're definitely going to have to meet me in the pit. We got to uh, we, We'll we'll get together. The CMS racing crew, all the Allegiant travel people behind me, helping us get us through every step of this way. And thanks to our new partners, Vertex. I mean, I really appreciate them coming on and look forward to working with every one of them. As a matter of fact, Talon's <laughs> back. He's right now. He's uh, he's texting me right now. He's telling me to stop bashing him on the rail on, on TV. Every word, every word is uh, spelled correctly, too. <laughs> and hey, look, and, and spell you, check works real good on the phones, too. Yeah, yeah he, and he, he really impressed me for a guy who has a fourth grade education. He's done really well. <laughs> yeah, he, he is pretty amazing in his own right, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. All right, well, we appreciate your time tonight. And uh, go out there and make sure Talman does some work while you can. That sounds like a plan. But don't, but don't let him eat too much barbecue or you won't get nothing out of him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, all right. Thank you guys for having me on. Appreciate uh, it. All right. All right we'll talk again. to you later. Talk to you. Bye. Thanks. Don't do anything. All right. He's yeah. passing the phone Is to he it off? Joey. Uh, Joey? I don't think he passed it off. Hello, Joey. Oh, he, didn't it he did pass it on. He, said, he sat there and said, or it either all. Dave got the phone. No, he's, 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 he's on the other vehicle. Text. He's in the other vehicle. Yeah, he didn't send me that one. It better be nothing but good stuff, great stuff. <laughs> he said, I'm tired of you bashing. <laughs> Go, oops, too late. <laughs> what else are we going to talk about? Scott's not here. We can't pick on him. Well, you still yeah, can pick on him. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah, he just sent me a message. He just told me to get off the phone. Scott. Scott. So I think he was wanting to call in here and say something. So, you know. Well, I, I wish we, he, have, we have four lines. He knows he can call in. Well, I wish he'd do something besides, you know, I'd like, I'd like to get to the bottom of this thing, really. Hey, you know what? After we're done with Joey, we can call him up. Okay. That may be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> may uh, be really interesting. I will be. So, um, so, so Arena Racing's done. Arena they Racing's crowned done. their champion. Everything's done for them, their season. Now, when I was with Arena Racing a number of years ago, what was that, probably 10 years ago, nine, uh, man, they, they, they stopped the season like in February. Yeah. Now we're all the way into May. Well, they're, what they're doing now is they're, they're, they're taking a lot of weekends off. Okay, so they're more right. spaced apart. Like they, like they didn't race for three weeks up till this week. Wow. You know, this past week. I, they do it a lot because of the Richmond race. They take that off. Um, no, they raced during. I used Martin to, Martin. I used to love it when trucks were were at Richmond. Yeah. Well, we're talking about the arena races. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but you know when when uh, I was with them, they were they're racing every other weekend. But mm -hmm. then again, we were over in Norfolk, and then they went from Norfolk to Hampton, and then of course they they've taken it to Richmond. Um, but I guess they're not doing the every other weekend thing no more. They got two or three. Well, they'll, weeks go, in they'll, they'll, they'll go one week. They'll go like one stretch. They'll go three races in a row. And then they'll have a little bit. Yeah. Gotcha. Welcome to Let's Talk Racing. How's it going? All right, is this Joey? Yep, this is Joey. All right, well, we we we, we were we were talking about you earlier. That has been good. Huh? Well, Spencer, he he said a lot of good things about you. I know that's not true. I was sitting right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we thought he, he said he was going to hand the phone to you, and then. All of a sudden, he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are you going to out eat barbecue with him tonight? Yeah, I think so. We're going to try to get uh, we're going to try to get both teams uh, headed that way. I think. 
All right, well, you got a guy on that 23 team. Make sure he don't eat a lot. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I overheard you guys talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody was listening to us. Oh, God. Well, how's your 2014 season going so far, Joyce? Oh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to judge much of anything because we've only raced twice. track was basically there and now all of a sudden everything's around it between a stadium to hotels to everything it, it's it's something that I never thought I would see yeah it's, it's awesome though it makes it uh, I think it really helps draw a crowd you know because people aren't worried about how far out in the middle of nowhere it is um, right it's really really done a good job and that you know all of this extra stuff that's built up you know, it doesn't hurt the traffic flow in and out. Um, they've done a really good job controlling that. And then, uh, you know, to top it all off, they built a really, really chill racetrack, um, oh. which, which always helps bring people to the stand. It's beautiful. I mean, it's definitely one of the racetracks that you, if you've got a race to attend, that's one of, them, one of the top five I'd tell you to go to. I really like that track and the area. Yeah, it's great. And, uh, you know, the trucks here especially uh, with the repaves, uh, Put on a really, really good show. I, I remember last year there wasn't there wasn't too many times where we weren't two and three wide. Uh, sometimes four wide down the front stretch because they widened it out so much. So it's been a real fun track. Um, and like I said, I think we we're gonna have a a real good truck. And uh, I know ECR's mm -hmm. been doing a lot of motor work, so we should have a pretty good power plant to work with down the straightaway. So what does the rest of your season look like as far as how many races you're going to run or? What all's in time? What all's in in the, in the works for you? Uh, well, after once we get this race uh, done with, that'll leave um, right at, I think 19 truck races left. So we're going to hit all of those, and then uh, I'm going to try to squeeze in as much racing or uh, anything I can. Uh, I mean, I've got a couple of dirt late models that I've been running. So by the end of the year, truck races, dirt races, and anything else included, I, I'd like to try to get to. Um, at least 40 races, but I'm, I'm really shooting for about 50. What tracks are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I mean, this this race has been sort of on my calendar uh, just because we've, we've always had a lot of success here, and I think we've got uh, we've got the best recipes for it that I think we've had um, with, with all the things we've got going on this year. Um, guys in the shop have been working really hard and uh, really put a lot of time into this truck. It's the same truck. Um, that I won Pocono with back in 2012 when I was driving for RCR. So I know the I know the truck's good, and, and I know these guys are, are really good and they're doing a good job putting them together. So this race has been circled, and then uh, I think after that, Charlotte, which I've had that one circled, and had Dover circled. Um, so I guess the best answer is uh, whatever racetrack um, we're going to next is the one I'm looking forward to. I hear you. <laughs> By the way, Joey, I apologize that we didn't get a chance to stop by and say hi when we were at Martinsville. Uh, that's okay. It was a little, uh, a little bit wet and soggy, so there wasn't a whole, lot of, a whole lot of getting around being done. Wet, soggy, and cold. I know it yeah. was cold up there, too. And snowing. Right, it was. I was, I was sitting there thinking, well, I'm glad we uh, didn't have to drive through the snow and 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 sn
All right, now what is the weather forecast for this weekend in Kansas? I don't think there's no chance of rain, right? Um, we're not going to talk about tomorrow. Okay. But Friday looks really good. Good, good. So I tell you, we were just talking to uh, our other guest about just how many times uh, NASCAR has, you know, had rain this year and had to put the uh, air titans out there and try to get everything all together to be able to prepare for racing and how many races have been you know postponed until the next day and nothing but exciting racing going on all the way around yeah and it's it's been great to watch you know it, and uh you know it, i think with them having to push so many races back that just shows you how bad the weather's been because uh, those air titans do work really really well um and they just they can't keep up with the rain, and it's been raining. A, it, it hasn't really ever sprinkled at one of these races. It's either not raining or it's just an absolute downpour. I'm soon. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping we get uh, we get everything in this weekend. I, I'm sure looking forward to trying this new qualifying format. Uh, the trucks haven't been able to do it yet, so hopefully we get a shot at it this week. So what? I'm glad you brought that up because that that was something you guys have not done that yet. Have you been watching the other the, the other series when they do it? And what kind of plans do you all have as far as how you're going to handle that? Or I mean, I, I know you can't tell us everything, but just tell us, you know, what what your thoughts and plans are for that. I mean, I, I think it's a great it was a great idea. I think it's brought a ton of excitement um, to qualifying that that wasn't there before. Uh, I mean, I've always I've always enjoyed qualifying just because it's you know you got two laps to give it all you got and you know you got to put it right there on the edge and step as far over it as you can um, so I've always enjoyed you know the your normal qualifying stuff but I think this really kind of adds a little bit more to it you know you, you've really got to watch the clock you've got to save your stuff and and, uh, and it makes it exciting for the fans it's, it's a little bit shorter so you're not uh, you're not sitting there all day watching one car at a time it's, it's uh, a lot quicker and it's more exciting so I'm excited to try it um, no idea what our plan is yet. I think we're gonna we're gonna talk about that tonight and uh, and just see how the truck back around each other tomorrow. Um, and, and it's gonna change. It'll be one way here, and then we'll go to Charlotte next week and have a completely different plan, and then something totally different at Dover. So it's something that's gonna change every week, but it's, it's definitely gonna be fun. Tell me about how the, the stress on the engine for all the practice, and then you do the two or three rounds of the of the qualifying how, how, I mean how, do you have a set limit of what you got to do as far as your engine is concerned as far as how many laps you can make on I don't know I don't know what uh, what concerns other other people might have but I know with the ECR package that we forgot um, we don't worry about it at all uh, they build some seriously bulletproof motors that that put down a ton of horsepower so they're uh, they're not even worried about it you know they uh same thing as always, you know, just keep it, keep it, the temperature kind of normal, and don't let it get too hot, um, you know, the staff is letting the heat cool down unit, so we'll be able to bring it back down to a good operating temperature every time, um, but I know those guys back at ECR and the guys that sit on the road with us, they're not worried about it at all. Well, I tell you what, it's been really nice talking to you, and uh, we definitely want you to give a shout out to all your sponsors, crew members, and even Dave. And, uh, you know, let us know uh, what you got left for 2014, and uh, we definitely want to wish you luck. Yeah, this, this weekend is going to be uh, great for us. We've got a brand new sponsor, the GMS Race, and we got Vertex on our truck. Um, you know, they, they make some wicked, wicked tactical gear. Uh, they have to follow up with some backpacks, and really cool looking shirts, and uh, some great work pants that. Uh, the guys are really excited to, to try out this weekend, and uh, they got a whole bunch more sitting back at the shops uh, ready for Monday. So, great to have them on board. It's a super fun group to work with. Um, met with them uh, a couple weeks ago out in Cincinnati, and uh, they've got uh, really awesome plans for, for the next few years. So, hopefully, uh, we can stay involved in them and uh, get the word out how good their product is and uh, have a bunch of fun with them, which I think, uh, I think we're going to do for sure this week. All right, well, you all go out and have a good meal tonight. And make sure Dave does some work tomorrow, and uh, I'll keep in touch. All right, sounds good, thanks. Uh, all right, man, talk to you later. Take care. Tom just sent me another message.
<laughs> he said, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> Did you tell him to take it YouTube later? I told him, I said, some good, some bad. Well, let's call him. <laughs> he's, Ooh, probably, he's, hey, probably eat. he's probably eating. He's probably eating. I'm going to put him not on the spot. Was. No, I'm not going to bother. Bother. <laughs> bother him. He's not going to get to some stuff to do. He don't want See, he may have stuff on him. No, he does What's not have it. I don't, I you got stuff on him. I've got a lot of stuff on him. Baby, he's got something on you. Uh-oh. Message. Let me see your phone. I'll call it. <laughs> he said, good thing. Ain't nobody listening to you. No way. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to call him. Now you got to call him. Grab, grab the second line and call him. <laughs> oh, this ought to be cool. <laughs> That's the line in the middle on the bottom row. How you doing, sir? Uh, good. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Brian Morehouse has been saying nothing but good things about you, so I'm out of this war, okay? Okay. You know me and you work tight, so uh, I won't kick back and just let you all two go at it, okay? <laughs> I, mean, I, I haven't said anything really bad about you. Come on now. <laughs> He did talk about your eating ability. Uh, and working ability. Working after ability. eating. <laughs> yeah. And I told him I saw you work hard at the track. So. Hey, Dave, Dave. I'm glad you got Brian full. <laughs> He 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 the track off. Hey, 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 Dave. Dave, how many times have I been to the track with you? Hey, Martin, you live on the couch. All you do over there is just stand around. <laughs> well, how do you like it out there in Kansas, man? It's a little bit different than being back in Hampton, Virginia, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. We just, we just landed a little while ago, so yeah, about 82 degrees, they said. Uh, best thing I love about that place is the airport. You can be 30 minutes before heading out on commercial, get right through the airport, get to your plane, and you're ready to roll. And I love airports like that. But it's a beautiful track, man, and we were just talking about the facilities around there and everything. I can't believe over the last five years since I've been going how much everything's built up around that track, and it's in the middle of everything. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Every time we come out here, we're staying in a new hotel. And then you, yeah, and then you uh, come to down here and they want to build a housing project around a racetrack and then, you know, nobody wants to racetrack there, it seems like. But it's really awesome to be able to see that out there in Kansas and the growth around it and everybody participating with everything going on. And we even talked about traffic wasn't even bad, getting in and out. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's pretty, we're out the door. Or as soon as the race is over, we're gone. Yeah. Now, I'm um, happy going up the interstate, I guess because it's right beside the interstate, everybody can just get on it and... Dig, you know? Exactly. So, uh, I understand y'all going out to eat some barbecue. I haven't heard yet, but uh, I'm waiting I, on the text message. Well, I've, I've been talking to your bosses, your drivers. My drivers? Yeah, I've been talking to all three of them, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we had Max and we had uh, Joey and, and we had Spencer on here. Now, they didn't, they talked pretty good about you, too. Well, they got you, man. I could accidentally leave something loose. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, tell them you said that. Now, I'm not going to tell you who made the comment, but somebody said when you sent me a text message, all the words were spelled right, and they were glad that fourth grade education paid off. That'd be huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're always going to be a favorite of mine, Dave. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
right, well you go to the favorite person to pick on. That's what it is. Hey, look, I you know I I enjoyed being around those guys those years that I was around them. So I I I love it. So yeah, and Dave knows it. Dave knows I'm just as crazy anyway. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all have a great time out there. We wish y'all luck this weekend and definitely uh, throughout the rest of 2014, too. We can do it. I appreciate it, man. All right, man. We'll All right, talk to you later. All right, see you. All right, we didn't get no wild stories. We kept it clean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, We kept it clean. I, 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 I think he's got something on you. No, he don't have nothing on you. Nothing on you. No, he but you got nothing. it on him. Oh, I got a whole lot on you. <laughs> you got a lot on Scott. <laughs> Not Scott. I don't have a lot on Scott. You know I just know some things about Scott, but... I, I know y'all kids sit next to each other. They were going to give me a referee shirt. Well, see, well, week. the thing about it is, Scott's kind of, you know, he's a little weird. You ever noticed it? I don't, don't put me in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to make friends. <laughs> he's just a little weird. I mean, he's just, I, and I got a feeling we're getting ready to talk to him. Uh-oh. No. Okay, is he going to pick up? Let's bet on that. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about Junior this weekend? Junior made a lot of enemies this weekend as far as fans. With that, the comments he made about after the race, you know, that he he went back because he didn't want to tear up a car, he didn't feel, you know. And a lot of people hit him on Twitter and said, look, that ain't what you're paying, that ain't what they're paying you for. I tell you, he really got hit hard by his a lot of his comments and actions, uh, Brad, Brad yeah. Kozlowski. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the other day, I mean, I was I wasn't at that race, but uh, I had a field hockey game to attend, and uh, boy, by the time I got into social media, it was I didn't get to see everything. It was just whew, everything was just bombarded, you know. So uh, after I got home, I got to be able to review everything. And, you know, Talladega, Talladega, man. That's right. I mean. <laughs> That's one of the most action track tracks around. But I can agree with some of the things that were said. But I mean, he was six laps down. Yeah. And I know he's trying to get a lap back. But you're in front of leaders. The leaders who are running. If you were going to try, I mean, all you got to do is get to the back of the pack and run with them and be the first car at a caution flag and get a and get a lucky dog. You're going to get the lap back. Yeah. You know. But um, instead, you're going to tear everybody up. Including my son's talk, but you know, twenty-four. That you know, that wasn't very good, but. Well, you know, now we're gonna move on to Kansas, and then uh, where's it at after that? Charlotte. Charlotte. Wow, man, time is flying. You know, right back. Did you did you ever talk to anybody about going to Charlotte? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you about that in a little while. You got it covered? No. I'll talk to you about that. Okay. Well, you got the All Star race coming up. And you know we've got the trucks that Friday night, yep. and then we got the All Star race Saturday, and then of course we got the big weekend with the 600 the weekend following that. Um, going to be a lot of good racing going on here over the next couple of months. And you're not going to be down there for none of that. I will be down there. Yep, I'll be heading on down uh, for All. Well, I'll be down there. I think I leave next Wednesday. So, but I won't be down there for the 600. I'm actually I'm going to take in a baseball game. You gotta have different sports. You know what I'm saying? You can't be all racing. You must be going to the Charlotte, New Charlotte. The stadium? Mm -hmm. No, nah, Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, Camden Yards. Mm -hmm. I don't get to pick where I go. Do you get to pick where you go? That's just that's your favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah. That's, I've been watching them every night for the last two weeks. Really? And see I'm a Braves fan. <laughs> I'm an Oriole fan. <laughs> But hey, me and you need to tighten. You need to tighten up here a little bit, man. You're gonna start. I'm gonna get rid of Scott, so we can start having you all the time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. Actually, had an opportunity for uh, us to get down there, so we're we're really looking forward to it. Maryland and doing everything, doing some different things. Mm -hmm. Going miss the 600. Um, gosh, I, that that's my favorite race of the year, longest race, but definitely favorite. So, uh, well, I got a bone to pick with you anyway. While we're sitting here talking, so since Scott's not here, I guess I'll jump on you. Okay. But I understand you was doing some uh, tailgating at Richmond. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and and, and poor me and Roger, you know, we sat in there, and we, you know, we saw him too. Now I, I told Roger that I was heading on out. Roger says he was working. Were you working? Well, do, hold on. Does Roger work? And you don't? I, I don't know who does all the work. Well, Roger must have been working because I I don't go to the races to work. <laughs> 
just a talk, right? I don't, so, I don't do that. I don't do no work at a racetrack. I mean, you know, I'm not like you guys go up there. You know. Well, actually, I know, get drunk into it every now and then. To work. Yeah, my, okay. my my son will drag me in every now and then. Uh, out of the clear blue sky, or somebody else will, but you know. I try to avoid that best I can. <laughs> I actually had an opportunity. I had some great friends down there. Um, you know, they uh, entertained uh, Blue Ox, yeah. which is the ones that put on the King and uh, East sponsorship for the race. It was actually nice to be able to go down there and meet some of them. And uh, you know, you don't realize. I mean, when you work and you're at the track from six in the morning to eight at night, people think that's a, that's that's just great. But that's great. But I don't never get to see what goes on on the outside. Yeah. There's a lot that goes on on the outside. This, this I'm trip, pretty good at cornhole. This trip, <laughs> <laughs> this trip to Richmond was the first time in years that I went out front really? to look around. I'm never I, usually I'm right there in the garage. I go to the back, get in my truck, and I leave. Oh man! So, but this time I actually went out front. And roamed around just a little bit. I didn't stay out there long, but I roamed around a little bit. But that's the first time I've done that in a long time. I mean, you don't see the things that goes on out there. I mean, you yeah, know. It's, it's not, it's not you so didn't say anything down. about what I did last in uh, uh, Richmond. Huh? Remember y'all were giving me a hard time about something from Richmond? What were we giving him a hard time about? He wasn't here, remember? I was giving you a hard time about Richmond. I was... Oh, yeah, and you know what I just saw right here? Look at this. He's even got a pair. Who? That's you. Mine. Oh, these are yours. Yeah, yeah they ain't mine. Well, he went to them. He got three pairs of these. One, two, three. No, but, I, those are three lenses. So you just, you got you got just one set of frames with three lenses. Yeah. Now look at this. Wouldn't you, as hard as you work for that man, try to at least? What would you do for him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder now. <laughs> yeah, he went out there and got him some. We gave oh, I knew he, he got, said, I knew he said he was going out there, but I didn't. Yeah, well, me and Scott gave him a really hard time last week. You would have you really enjoyed it. Scott did a really good job staying on his butt last week. Well, that's good. I'm, you know, <laughs> he was doing something. Oh. Well, yeah, that's pretty, pretty well right. there. So if you pick them up, they're next to your bag. I'm, uh, I'm not going to pick them up. I ain't going to pick them up. I'm going to tell you what, those are really nice. I didn't realize how nice those were. But uh, I tell you what, um, yeah, we gave him a really hard time. But getting back to the tailgating, <laughs> I tell you what, people make racing fun. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I've been to football, I've been to baseball, ne never really a whole lot of basketball. <laughs> <laughs> but that tailgate, they, they, they were out there. I don't I think know. I met a bad person. I just did that. No. Everybody loved everybody. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's fun out there. Oh, it know. was. And yeah, man, but you know what? I will be honest with you. I sat in the stands that night, had a great time, was with good friends and everything. Um, but I like it down there. Yeah. Got to know what's going on, yeah. you know. And then everybody would be going, "Well, what's going to happen next?" I don't know. I'm not, I'm up here, you know. Yeah, you're so, spectating this time. You, but it, you see what's on the on that head too, there. Exactly. Right? But it was all. It was really cool to be able to sit up there, get to you know socialize and everything else but man i'm a i, I love it down in the well, pits I, I go down there and socialize down in the pits yeah i do that down there uh -huh. mm -hmm. so that's what you were doing with. i thought you were working no i was down there but i was socialized oh no. <laughs> yeah, we were down in the 24 pits during the cup race so were you yeah well, i'll tell you what I, to I told him i wasn't going to leave early this time because he has a chance of winning mm -hmm. i said if he don't win i'm gonna be pissed well, a good race <laughs> was a good that race. was a good race I'm gonna tell you what. We have a we have a, pack. we have a local photographer for Portland or Franklin area that he's really big in the Lee's race and he you know ever since Lee started and he come and tapped me on the shoulder right near the end of the race and he said I'm on my way to Victory Lane uh -huh. so I can get pictures of y'all in Victory Lane when you get there and then we didn't get there. <laughs> so I say well it was a good race I mean hard racing but. Uh, it was, it was really good. They, they, I mean, they were listening to on the on the scanner and everything on one of the la later pit stops. Jeff said, "Get me out in third place. We got a chance to win this thing." And they they actually uh, slowed him down as he was coming into pit road, just so Junior could get in front of him just by that little bit, so he'd get third. Mm. And he and he got the lead back, but just the uh, extra stuff that came along later just killed him. Yeah. But you know, talking about Richmond, let's just talk about all of 2014. Um, 
It's been pretty action packed. It's been a good. I movie. mean, right down to the wire with some of these races. You know, uh, th that's just awesome. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people on social media. They'll they'll talk about certain things, and I mean, they got their opinions. But uh, in my opinion, I think it's been 2014 has been really action packed. I think they've, I think they've got they've got a good package now with everything that's going on. So I qualifying's think different. You know, the the trying to get the track back together with you know their equipment with Air Titans to just good racing. Um, it it's been pretty pretty good. I think the rest of 2014 is going to be just as good. I just hope they don't do a whole lot of changes in that motor for next year. I think you need to leave things pretty much like it is for a year or two and just see how things work. I think you want great motors. I just see it. <laughs> <laughs> so how much money do they save on R&D? On it ain't going to, that ain't going to. That's never going to save money. You can save money here and they're going to spend it more over here. They would still research something. The, that's, that's crazy. But engines have got to be one of the most expensive things they work on. Oh, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. And uh, I was standing over there at the 24 garage. On of course, kill a few thousand. On Saturday. Mm -hmm. And they got these sensors on all four corners of the cars. Yeah. Lasered down, right? At the on the platform? No, they're talking about they're in their garage stall. They've got them smacked up on the side of their car. Okay. And they're setting their cars up with these lasers in the garage stall. Oh yeah. So I'm sitting there watching it, and my son walks up and pops me on the arm, and he says, "You know how much that thing costs?" Uh, I said, "Ten grand." I said, "How much?" He said, "Each one of those little." Pieces right there, fifteen thousand dollars a piece. A piece. He said we got sixty thousand dollars on that car. Wow. Sitting there, and he says all the cars have them. That's amazing. So, I mean, that technology. I mean, who ever thought when we used to go to the races 10, 15 years ago? Let's just say, uh, two thousand. That all the technology that we have nowadays would be there. You know, with NASCAR and the platform, way that teams are setting cars up, everything else. You know, it's not like the, the days when Junie Dunlevy and them guys used to sit there and pull a string and, you know, everything I've else. So, they've never really done that. I've seen that. <laughs> they've never done that. We haven't seen it. So, it's well, it's, it, it, and they can do a lot of things that, you know, a whole lot better than what we used to do. I bent the frame on my race car. And we tied it up between two trees and heated it up and pulled and pulled and pulled. And pulled. There it is. So, I mean, you know, they don't do that now. <laughs> That's something. You got, well, you got the t-shirt for that too? What's that? The tree thing. No, I ain't got a t-shirt. What, what, what a t-shirt? Explain it to him. A t-shirt? Yeah, you know, you get a t-shirt whenever you have some strange experience. Oh, well, no, I didn't get a t-shirt for it. Why didn't you give me a t-shirt for it? It was your idea. <laughs> we need, we need <laughs> to make him a t-shirt. We'll get Scott to give you a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Scott yeah. really likes you, man. He even said, I think he said it last. Maybe he didn't. But I thought maybe he did. <laughs> no, but y'all two, y'all two make it interesting. First week I came here, I really thought y'all two did not like each other. There is, There have been people that have sent me messages that said, <laughs> I really hope you like him. <laughs> <laughs> we put him in the middle, and I was like, oh, my goodness, these two guys really don't like each other. <laughs> then the next week, we put him on the end, and y'all really didn't like each other. <laughs> so, but we need to stage something. <laughs> you ain't got to really stage nothing. It'll happen. <laughs> Eventually. <clears throat> Get up and go, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a great show. That was, a, that was fun. Still didn't get nothing back from... Scott. Scott, nah, he's chicken. We'll talk to him. We'll talk to him next week. We'll give him a week to cool. And Tommy just sent me another message saying, was that really on the show? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, man, we had some interesting guys to talk to. Good season, everything else. So, uh, too bad we couldn't have Scott, but we'll get him next week. Well, we'll get him live. That's the way we want to do it. We'll do it live. We don't have to talk to him on the phone. <laughs> we'll get him to spill it, spill it well, out. There's a whole lot better. We ain't got to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we like to get out of here. Everybody have a good week. We'll see everybody next week on Let's Talk Racing. Hey guys, I'm Daytona 500 winner Trevor Bain, and thank you for watching Let's Talk Racing.
Hi, I'm Robert Richardson Jr., driver of the number 23 Dodge Challenger for R3 Motorsports in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, and you're watching Let's Talk Racing. I'm Teddy Peters, driver of the number 17 Toyota in the NASCAR Camp World Truck Series, and you're listening to Let's Talk Racing. driver of the 33 NASCAR late model 2011 Old Dominion Speedway track champion thank you for watching Let's Talk Racing TV I'm Sam Hunt driving the 42 car on the thing Let's Talk Racing Hi my name is Natalie Sather I drive the 94 K&N Lady Eagle Safety Wear Butler Built Seats Bell Helmets Hooker Harness Seat Belts number 94 at South Boston Speedway be sure to listen to Let's Talk Racing TV 